Team Smitty Smith, night two of our two-night doubleheader here for RJJ Boxing, live on UFC Fight Pass. Appreciate you joining us as we are inside the majestic Marina Terra Hotel and Spa Event Center in San Carlos. Well, I don't know what the over and under is on this one, but hopefully we'll get the, uh, the over. Otherwise, the truck just informed me that I might have to suit up and make a comeback to uh, fill in some of this time there. There's a nice shot by... Torres, we've seen him before, of course. Uh, he was in action. He won a decision over Orlando Zapata on October 22nd. And Rodriguez coming off a decision win uh, in, in November as well. Oh, that was a nice. really nice combination by Torres. Torres undefeated 9-0, and oh, as you mentioned. Smitty getting his work in. Six of his nine wins come by way of knockout, but... You know, nice to see him uh, last time out get that, that work in and, and, and go into the latter part of the fight. Rodriguez, the, the elbows are way too uh, hanging out to the outside there. He's winging the elbows, which means he's wide open for anything to the body. Rodriguez, nine wins, seven by way of knockout. See those elbows? Yep. That is a no, no. Torres primarily hunting to the head, using the right jab and the straight left, but I, I think he will uh, go to that body because it's just so exposed from winging the elbows there, Rodriguez. Nice evasive movement there by Torres, getting out of the corner. I, and, I, and, I, and I'm not trying to be too hard on him. That's one of the worst habits that I had when I started fighting as a pro. They actually one time took uh, duct tape and duct tape uh, around me to keep my elbows in so my ribs wouldn't be exposed. In a three-year career, I think I had four or five cracked ribs. Ouch. Thank you to the uh, Cuban fighters in Miami. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Quick little left hand there by Torres. There's a body shot. He's taken some really solid head shots Rodriguez had, but it wouldn't surprise me to see if something come to the body that could finish things just because it's so exposed it's such a such a mistake Rodriguez, where does it, where does that trait develop Smitty? where does and, that and, happen and, you know and, and i didn't get a chance to talk to to rodriguez i didn't get a chance to interview him um so i it will it starts with the amateur career that's your basic foundation your whole symmetry as a fighter the elbows have to be inside and tucked in and you can and see, it, you see them on the inside here with Torres, the way that he's covering up and now firing back. <laughs> Rodriguez uh, oh. landed a couple of right hands, but really tasted a lot more leather than he uh, applied to Torres. Big first round for the unbeaten Luis Torres. And look at the corner now of Luis Torres. When you look at the way that he fought that first round, he, he definitely was allowing Rodriguez to come forward and, and, and picking his shots. What would you like to see him do uh, in round number two? Really, the only, for Torres, I would, he set up the head attack and used the head to set up the body, a la what, you know, Mickey Ward would do so well. Maybe touch something to the head and then go right back down. And either side is, is open, so there's openings for the left hook uh, or the right hook to the body. Again, because Rodriguez is winging out those, those elbows and, um, and that's exposing either side. So if I was Torres, I would go, I like to see a body attack established early anyway. But uh, that's what I would focus on in this second round. And for Rodriguez, hopefully the corner could see what is so clearly yeah, evident with his stance. It's all wrong. Round two underway here. See the Southpaw Torres returning tonight since his win last October. Decision win, as you mentioned there, Smitty, and you know, this is one thing you, you look at 2020, it's been a, a crazy year. These fighters just want to get into work, and for Torres, he's been able to keep up a, a bit of a schedule when otherwise the world has kind of come to a, a standstill. Yeah, cur courtesy of RJJ Boxing and Galo Promotions and uh, UFC Fight Pass, these uh, youngsters that have been fighting with us are very fortunate in this uh, pandemic year, as, as I mentioned, and, and even for a guy like Rodriguez, I'm sure he's Happy to be back in action and happy to be getting a payday and 
And sometimes, you know, th this isn't a pick and choose type of year. You just got to fight. And Rodriguez has found himself in, in a fight. He's trying to attack the body, though, in kind. And Torres really coming alive with some big shots to the head. Do you like the, the head movement here from Torres in, in round number two? Yeah, yeah, Torres is a pretty solid young pro. I mean, well, young to say 18 years old. And right. I, I like a lot of what I see. I just am surprised that he hasn't uh, uh, found the home for the body shots yet because it's just so exposed. And, um, he's not primarily a, a body puncher. He, 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 but there, see, there he went down to it finally. And uh, Rodriguez comes back with a few body shots of his own. I tell you what, the Rodriguez is, is very game. Definitely game, trying to attack, but now Torres firing back, and these guys content to fight in close. He's hung in there because uh, when it, this thing started, I didn't think he was going to get out of the first round, and he's hanging in there. There are a couple of nice body shots by Rodriguez. Now the elbows are in tighter. He'll have a lot more success if he does that. Even the ability to throw punches, you know, the way the symmetry of a fighter is so important. Rodriguez starting to get it together a little bit now. And what now, is that doing for the mindset of Rodriguez now that he's starting to find a little bit of success? Well, hopefully he's not getting hit as much and he's able to think because he's not being, his brain's not being rattled by all of the head shots. But look, he's, he's uh, landing some of his own body shots and most of those are being picked off by Torres. But nevertheless, uh, Rodriguez with his offensive attack is nullifying the great offense that we saw earlier from Torres. The reason I bring up the mindset, Smitty, is I'm curious, should he get more aggressive now that he may have a little bit more confidence on the side, or does he need to still play it somewhat conservative? Yeah, he's a guy I haven't seen in, in, in action, and I, I, I think he's almost been in, in somewhat of a, a mode of just trying to hang around. Wow, man, Ooh. he takes a heck of a shot. Those are some really solid head punches by Torres, and he doesn't want to take too many more of those. Uh, Torres is a pretty good puncher. Uh, not a great puncher, six KOs in his nine victories. Because if he was a, a great puncher, Rodriguez would probably be out of there. But Rodriguez definitely takes a good shot. It's not something you necessarily want to be credited with and, and praised for uh, your, your durability. But at the same time, Rodriguez has it. He can call upon it. And we'll see what he can do here as uh, we move on to the fight. See, uh, finally, uh, Torres noticed what I noticed in about the first 15 seconds. He starts going to that body. Good head movement there and, and distance by Torres getting out of the harm's way. And you see Rodriguez just coming in squared up, and that's what happens when you come in squared up. Got to be off to the side. But I credit Rodriguez for the Rocky, you know, hanging in there off of a Rocky start. Rodriguez uh, threw a couple of jabs there, and they weren't the greatest jabs, but at least it got him on the inside. Torres really starting to feel it now, and I think he's turning over his shots. A little bit more authority on him. Good double jab by Torres. Rodriguez still firing back, coming forward. Nice right hand, but Torres still moving and rolling with these punches. Not really getting tagged with anything as far as offense from Rodriguez. And Rodriguez not rolling with him and just getting hit flush. And he's so squared up, he's not able to do, to do anything to take away from the impact of the shots. He's, in other words, he's absorbing the full brunt of those shots. Mouthpiece came out. Yeah, mouthpiece came out. Of Torres, I think. Yep. Quick rinse there, and they'll put it back in. It's been a great week, all week long here in Sonora. San Carlos, the site of a two-night doubleheader for RJJ Boxing, and we're back again tomorrow night for Icon Fighting Federation here. But right now, we see Luis Torres and Marcos Rodriguez. You know, looking at Rodriguez, this fight isn't necessarily going the way he wants it to, to go for him, but he keeps moving forward. He keeps marching forward, and, and you know, he's attempting to try to make something go his way, but 
thus far, not much there for him. At least he's trying to let his hands go, uh, which is again taken away a little bit. Oh, of that offense, but man, that was, uh, that's it. Wow. That is a wrap. Luis Torres showing that he has some serious skills. Wow. Marcos Rodriguez not present right now inside the Marina Terra Event Center, and that is because Luis Torres just scored a huge statement and stoppage. That young man has some power. 18 years old, Smitty. The future is very, very bright for the, uh, the young kid from Obregón. Yeah, right now I'm just more concerned about the uh, condition and the future of Rodriguez because he was so stationary and had his feet planted and no head movement and uh, wouldn't be surprised if he uh, suffered a broken nose uh, from those devastating shots. Hopefully his, he'll be all right. We will take a look at some of this action. Finney, walk us through. Well, you see that... Uh, Torres is really turning over the straight left hand again off of that southpaw style. Boom, there's a, a huge straight left. And that one over the top, kind of a reverse Gennady Golovkin looping left hand flush. Both hands, actually, he landed some of everything, didn't he? You can see that right hand there's right there. That that's the, that's the uh, looping left, yep. kind of torquing it a la what Gennady Golovkin does with the uh, right hand. And they're applying the proper attention to Rodriguez, making him as comfortable as possible. Good news, the, the paramedics are, are, are here in place if need be, and hopefully they won't need be. It, it, it was a couple of more rounds of taking. You know, I'd rather, I'd actually rather see a guy get knocked out like that than take two or three sure. more rounds of punches. And he, he was taking so many hard shots, Rodriguez. Uh, sometimes you're, you, you, you know, you're, you're, too uh, tough for your own good and you if you don't have anything coming back that uh, having a great chin can get you in a hell of a lot of trouble and Rodriguez you know does have the the heart of a fighter he wanted to go out there and and, and compete and you know he, he's talking to the uh, paramedics and and people that are you know taking off his wraps and it, it, it seems like he's getting his wits about him slowly but surely but um, wow just the, the power by Luis Torres, this, uh, this young man, 18 years old, Smitty, he's, I think it he's was really... More, I think it was more, too, about the accuracy than the mm, power. The power sure. came at the end, but there, it, and, and it was also, you know, the, the fact that, let's be honest about it, there was just no defense. Right. I mean, you're, you're looking at a guy who's squared in front of you and no head movement at all, and, um, you know, that'll, that'll get you in a whole heck of a lot of trouble. It's the accurate. I, I, I think... Uh, I think Torres is a good puncher. I don't think he's a great puncher, right. but uh, when you have, but he did he, he did what he needed to do, and he's so accurate. See him, he's really seeing everything, and I'm just glad that uh, fortunately Rodriguez didn't have to take much more of that. And on paper, you know, Rodriguez had a decent record. You know, right. nine and two with seven KOs of his own. But where did those nine victories come from? Who were they against? And this, as you mentioned, in a pandemic year, he hadn't fought. He fought in November, and I failed to mention it was 2019 uh, that he fought. So he's trying to take, to probably feed his family. He needs a fight. And uh, it was one of those situations where it's just not, not good enough for, uh, for Torres. And Torres. Round of applause for the. Including Torres' applause uh, yep. from what few people are here in attendance. I'm just glad he's okay. He looks to be okay. Good sign there as Rodriguez gets back to his stool, but tonight belongs to the man they call Coriano. It is Luis Torres to make this one official. Here's Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to a sudden and dramatic end with an official time of 1 minute 48 seconds of round number three. Your winner, by way of knockout, still undefeated, El Coriano, Luis. Torres. Luis Torres getting his hand raised 10 and 0 now as a pro with 7 wins.